Hi, Scrappy friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the day five of our 12 cropping days of Christmas. So today I'm going to do a voiceover because when I was finished with this video and the layout, I went back to edit it and the audio is has a comp uh, buzzing sound in the background, which I didn't think you would appreciate. So we're going to continue with the voiceover and see how this goes. So as you know, I am using the Creative Memories 110 Scrapbooking Ideas and Sketchbook for this series. And since today is day five, I will have five photos on today's layout. And I am ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Here for today's video, I selected this sketch here on page 93. And it's right here. It's a cute layout that I'm going to, I can fit five photos on. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on the screen now so we can take a closer look. So the layout today is a band style. So yep, we've talked about band a couple times and this one has a band right in the middle of pattern paper. And at the edge of that is a treatment using a border making cartridge. And we will be doing the same thing today. Then at the top, there's a strip of pattern paper and the bottom is a border made out of little scraps of paper. And we are gonna tackle that today. I know we didn't on the, one of our previous layouts, but today we're going to take those little pieces of pattern paper and switch it up and go ahead and give it a try. So pretty good, easy layout for today. Five photos right in the middle of that band and some fun treatments and embellishments. So come on back to my desk and I'll show you what I have for today. So for my layout today, here are, here are all the scraps that I've gathered together to make those little strips on the bottom of the layout. And then I have this gorgeous golden dot paper that I'll be using for my background today and this red shimmer paper that I'll be using to go underneath my punch out for today. Now the dotted piece will actually be for my fan down the middle. So for the background background, I'm gonna bring in this index sheet and just use it as a piece to layer everything on and wallpaper everything right to this. So the white will be my actual background background. So let's go ahead and get started. For the strip at the top, I'm gonna to bring in this green Christmas tree paper and it is directional so I wanna make sure that it's gonna go horizontally across my paper. And I'm going to cut it at one and a half inches. And it will go right up here at the top like that. And, piece. and for the band, I'll bring back up. in the polka dot paper my and my border system. making and system along the with candy the candy cane, cane stripe, stripe border, border making cartridge. cartridge. I'll be punching out both sides and I'll be trimming it in the middle, but I'll put you on fast forward and I'll be back. So before I punch the other side, I do want to trim this down to eight and three quarters inches. This is how the band will lay across the paper, but before I lay it on, I do want to back the candy cane stripe with some red shimmer paper. And for the red shimmer paper, I'll cut that to one and a half inches and I will make two of those, one for the top and one for the bottom. So when I adhere these together, I do want to have a little bit of a reveal at the top. So just a little bit of that red popping out from the top and the bottom of the punch out. So there it is. I really love it. I think it's just so beautiful and it's going to give me lots of areas for my photos. But now I need to work on the strips at the bottom. And for that, I'm going to need 12 one by two and a half inch strips of all different colors and patterns. So for that, I'm going to put you on fast forward while I get these all trimmed up and cut out. So hold on, please. So 
now that I have the strips all cut out, the idea is to line them up at the bottom and just cover up the entire white area at the bottom of the layout. But what I decided to do is instead of making a line across with the different pattern papers, I wanted to do something a little different. So I cut them into banner strips. And for that, you'll see, I did try to bring in the banner punch, but as you'll see here in a minute, I d decided it was much easier just to cut them by hand because the pieces were a little too small to go into the banner punch and it was just more time consuming. So I went ahead and cut banners into all of them and here is what it looked like. Now that the banners are all cut, I'm just gonna start tucking them underneath the band of paper. I have no order, it's just random. I'm just gonna try and vary the colors um, so that I don't have a lot of one color together. Well, here it is, all adhered down. I love it. I love all the colors at the bottom. It's very festive and it's going to be awesome with the photos I have picked out for this layout. So speaking of photos, let me grab those and we'll do some photo placement. So I'm gonna keep my photo placement very similar to what they have in the sketch. I'm gonna put three photos across the top. I'm gonna to try and keep them about a three by threes, although this one here is actually a three by four. It came like that, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And then I'll line them all up across the top and I will put the last two at the bottom which I did trim down to five by three and a half, but I'll probably be trimming them a little bit more just to have them fit. I'll be bringing in some scrap paper to mat behind each of the top three, but I won't be matting the ones on the bottom. So I'll get all these matted and here's what it looks like. And wow, I love it. I just I did have to do a little bit more trimming on those bottom photos to get them in there, but everything is matted and adhered down. And I love that I got all of it inside that band with that candy cane stripe as well. It's just, uh, this is, these photos are from 1995 and I'm just so happy that I'm able to get these into the photo album finally. These are um, my daughter's first trip to go see Santa. We did take her to go get professional photos first and then over to see Santa afterwards. So to me, the child in those two photos, <laughs> they look completely different. I don't know. She must have been happy and liked the photo, the photo shoot. But then when we went to go see Santa, she was not as happy to see him. And then I have one photo with my cousin's child when he saw Santa that year as well. Okay, and just like that, we are ready to do some embellishing. So I always like to start with the title and the journaling. So for the title, I'm going to look at the sticker sheet here. And I like this one right here. And it says the magic of Christmas. And I'm going to lay it right where they have it in the sketch, which is over the top photo. But I'm going to lay it kind of between the top and the bottom photo. And let me grab some foam tape. And there we go. And I will come back to this area and add some more embellishments in a minute. But on to my journaling box. I like where they had it in the sketch, so I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to create my own journaling box. And for that, I'm gonna bring in this brown piece of dark brown paper, <laughs> and I'll bring in my trimmer, and I'm going to change the blade to the decal blade, and I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna put it at, nope, I'm gonna put it at two inches and give it another fancy cut on the other side. Now I'm gonna change the blade back and I'm going to bring in my three-in-one beveled tag punch. Love this punch. And I'm going to take this rough cut strip and place it into the tag punch and give it a tag top on one side. Then I'm going to trim it down to three inches 
and then put it back into the tag punch and punch it on the other side and I'll get a tag that looks like this. And for this cute double-sided tag, I'll bring in a little piece of lined paper that measures two inches by one and three quarters inches. And I'll adhere that to my double-sided tag. And that is going to be my journaling spot. So there we go. I'll take the journaling area and put it right there. And I am ready to do some embellishing. So while I gather up my embellishments, I would like to ask you if you are enjoying this voiceover, <laughs> then I would truly appreciate it if you would click that like button. You know the drill. It helps me spread my content through YouTube. And I hope that you are enjoying this voiceover because it is a lot different than doing a regular recording. <laughs> so anyway, I'll be right back with embellishing. So for the embellishing, we'll start right up here with the title. And I found this cute little already cut little doily in my little kit that I made. And I'm it's only a half of doily, but that's okay. It's already cut and I'm gonna tuck that right underneath the photo and then place the title back on top of it, just like that. And then to dress that up a little bit more, I'm going to add these little sprigs and just tuck that right in underneath the photo and underneath the title. And it will look like this. Now down here at the bottom on my journaling area, I want to bring in this little present. Um, I don't have a lot to say on th this journaling, but Oops, let me turn that around. I don't have a lot to say this time, but I do wanna have a little bit of journaling. So I'm okay covering up a little small portion of this box. Journaling boxes are always a great area to add embellishments. So I'll add the little present right there. And then I'm gonna bring in this holly, which is actually a punch out from this holly punch, but I had so many left over last year that it was silly to cut more out. So I'm gonna place that right there over that present. And then I'm going to bring in this little gem. This gem has been floating around in my tray and now's a good time to get that used so I don't lose it. I'm going to put that right there on top of the holly. And if I follow along with the sketch, they added a little embellishment cluster right up there at the top. So I'd like to do that. I like this little word phrase that says a must have and I thought that's appropriate since it's her first visit to Santa. I do feel like that's kind of a must have at Christmas time. And I'm going to bring in this circle element with a little Santa Claus on it and I'll tuck it right there behind the little word phrase sticker. And I do feel like I do need one more thing up here at the top. So I'm going to look at these vintage creative memory stickers. And I, I like the chair. I like the chair that's on the sticker sheet because it's the same that's in the, the layout, but in the photos, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm going to use this little uh, sticker that's a Dear Santa letter, and I'm gonna tuck that right in up there at the top. So that's perfect. I love it. It's simple, yet it gives me a little something up there at the top. So with that, I think I'm going to end this layout. I don't want to over embellish because I have so much with all those pretty pattern papers at the bottom. So I don't want to overdo it with embellishments, but I will show you a close up of the different embellishment areas. And I'll start with this one right up here with the title. And you can see how the little sprig, sorry about the glare, but, um, you can see how the embellishments overlap and the sprig just points out. And then the journaling box, here's where the little present is. And then of course, the top one where the little Santa is poking out behind the word phrase. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up our fifth video in our 12 cropping days of Christmas. Thank you for joining me today, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed that layout. And I'll be back in a couple days with another video, video number six. So take care, everybody. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.